What's up, y'all? I'm back out here at the range, as you can see behind me. It's going to be another hot, steamy day out here, so I'm going to be chasing the shade around because I got some interesting stuff planned to test today, and I'm going to start it out with another little copper 380 battle. So, of course, we got the jelly contraption set up with the Lab Radar Chrono and two freshly melted blocks of gel. As you can see, no tests at all done in these, so we'll get a really nice, clear picture of what happens. And as usual, of course, I'm using my heavy clothing barrier with a layer of denim, fleece, and two layers of cotton t-shirt material. So what we got here this time, again, is a couple of 380 rounds. Now, I've actually tested both of these in the past. This Barnes TAC XPD, I've tested it probably over a year ago, and it was actually out of my uh, Smith & Wesson EZ, and it was actually just through bare gel, so no heavy clothing barrier. I've had a few requests for me to retest these through the clothing, so I figured if I was going to do that, I might as well use the shorty barrel and put it up against another copper round. So again, these are the Barnes TAC XPD. XPD 380, 80 grain here. As you can see, nice plated case. Got a, uh, the black plating on their copper projectile. Now these are both solid copper expanding rounds. The velocity on the box for these is saying 990 feet per second, which I highly doubt we're going to see out of this little LCP. And then what we're going to put up against it is the good old Defiant Munitions 380. Y'all know I've tested quite a few rounds from these guys here. Pete and Fraser over there at Defiant. Really, really good guys. They make some really nice ammo. I have I've tested this 380 before great expansion and it met the minimum 12 inches i believe it was just a little over 12 inches so what we got here again is the 380 auto again it's an 80 grain this is their tcx or total copper expanding projectile nice nickel plated case you can see the solid copper expander now the velocity on the box for this one is saying 1100 and it actually tells you out of an lcp two and three quarter inch now when i tested these before i know we were a little bit shy of that just for my conditions up here so be interesting to see what what we get out of them again today and like i mentioned we're going to test them out of the lcp max here the two and three quarter inch barrel i think 2.8 technically is what they call it so a little shorty here now i actually changed the trigger and springs in this thing to this m carbo i actually did it uh on the last test and i used a 12 pound hammer spring just to see how it would feel i've switched it to the 10 pound since then and let me tell y'all something this right here makes a world of difference in this little tool it's a much much better experience with this thing now but anyway, this should be interesting to see these two copper rounds side by side. That Defiant stuff did a fantastic job on its own. If I can remember correctly, the Barnes did a good job too, but I think it was a little short on the penetration, but let's see what they do out here today. Let me get it set up and let's check them out. All right, let's see if we can get some speeds on these things. I'm gonna do a five round average from each one. We'll start with this Barnes first. Remember this was saying 990 on the box. Now, if y'all not familiar with this lab radar, you're gonna get uh, multiple readings. The big number is gonna be your muzzle and then you'll get five more it's going to be three yards seven ten twenty five and fifty we should get all out to fifty with this right here but could have a little trouble we may get, may just get to 25 but let's see what we get 964 so we did get out to 50 967 958 988 and 978 so we didn't quite get that 990 but really close let me just tell y'all something this m carbo trigger and spring setup makes a huge difference it's made this a way more pleasant experience with this little lcp max but let's check out that average all right so our five round average on that was 971 so very close to that 990 that could just be atmospheric different types of conditions elevation so very very close to what they're claiming the extreme spread was 30 and a standard deviation of 12.1 so not too bad at all let me get this reset and let's check out that defiant munitions all right let's check out this defiant munitions five rounds of it also remember this is saying uh 1100 and i know we won't quite hit that so 1066 1060 1090 1096 that was 75 yards y'all 
and 1,097. So we was right there at that 1,100. I would basically call that within the margin of error. So quite a bit faster than that, Barnes. Let's check out that average. All right, so our five round average on that was 1,082. So we were right there at that advertised 1,100. And I noticed that low was 1,060. I believe that was one of the first one or two rounds out of this LCP. So 1,082 average, extreme spread of 37 and a standard deviation of 17.4. So 1,082 on this. And if you remember on that Barnes, it was 971. So you talking about 111 feet per second faster from that Defiant Munitions with the same weight projectile. So it's already got a leg up right there as far as this little competition. I think they're both going to do well in the jail, but I think this Defiant Munitions is definitely going to take it. Let me get this stuff reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's unleaded jelly time. I'm gonna put one of each round into the gel, starting with this Barnes first. Like I said, I got a feeling both of these are gonna expand really well. I think this Barnes is gonna be a little slacking on the penetration though. Let's see what it does. All right, that should have been a good one there. Let's go check out what we got. All right, y'all, that Barnes just proved me wrong and not in a good way at all. That stuff just got totally shut down by that cloth. So let's see what this Defiant does. I've seen this Defiant do good already, so there shouldn't be any kind of drama out of this one. Ooh, I went really close to that other Barnes, but I think we're good. Let's go check it out. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. There is no doubt about this test right here. There is a clear winner and a clear loser right here. That Defiant Munitions absolutely dominated this Barnes round in every single way, in penetration, in expansion, in power. I mean, it absolutely destroyed that Barnes. So on the top there, that's your Barnes. As you can see, it comes in here. Now you got some disruption there, but that's only because it happened to tumble this time because there was no expansion. As as you can see it runs about right here i would say probably about an inch or so short of that defiant and no expansion whatsoever you can see it right there it's turned backwards and completely intact no deformation no expansion so that cloth absolutely shut this thing down it could have been a combination of the cloth and the lower speed from this lcp max but whatever the case it got shut down now the defiant munitions on the other hand right up under it comes in here really really nice disruption I'm gonna show you some different angles. It's a little misleading because of this tumble, but I'll show you from above. Way more disruption, really, really nice spiral wound action going on, traveling through this block. And like I said, it looks like, I would say that's right about the 12 inch mark, maybe a little bit over and some fantastic expansion out of that thing. So let's see just what the penetration was on it. This Barnes here is at 10 and a half inches of penetration. So didn't even expand and even with the tumbling could not meet the 12 inch minimum. And then the Defiant here is actually at 12 and I will call it, it's a hair over 12 and a half, maybe a 12 and five eighths, not quite. We'll call it 12 and a half on that Defiant. So again, I believe that's pretty much what it got the last time that I tested this. So very, very consistent from that. And here's your an overhead look from the other side. So this time the Defiance right there on the bottom and then the uh, Barnes on the top. Like I said, no question, much more disruption from that Defiant. Nice spiral looking action there. And you can see what happened there. That Barnes, you can see it in the track. It actually carried that uh, cloth where it was clogged up. And then when it spun around, it just started dumping it out there, but it was already too late at that point. So as you can see, no expansion from the Barnes and very very, very nice expansion from that Defiant Munitions. All right, let's check out these projectiles, y'all. Right here, the Defiant Munitions, and then right here, the Barnes TAC XPD. Absolutely night and day performance from these things. You know, I've already said it. Just look at that. Defiant is absolutely perfect. Perfect symmetrical expansion. And this Barnes right here, absolutely none. You got a little bit of jagged piece right there that maybe tried to do something, but not even close, really. Not even close to any kind of expansion at all. You can see it's got cloth packed in there. It actually 
actually acted like just a kind of a hole puncher and just punched a hole right in that cloth and just packed it full. Whether it was the combination of the lower speed or the projectile design, I don't know, but this Defiant Munitions absolutely destroyed it. They got the speed that you needed. This projectile design obviously is absolutely perfect. I've talked about it before, but those cuts that they make in this projectile, I mean, you can see, you can see the results of it. They know what it takes to get a 380 to expand at these kind of speeds from that barrel length. They all know, to be honest with you, but Defiant Munitions seems to be one of the few that actually cares. But I can already feel some ranting building up, so let's move along with this stuff and get some weights on them. So both of them started at 80. There shouldn't have been loss on anything. This Barnes here is 81.4, and then the Defiant Munitions is 80.1, so absolutely no loss on either one of them. And now as far as the expansion, obviously the biggest part on this Barnes is going to be the base at 353 and 351 so again absolutely no expansion on that and in this defiant munitions you got 556 545 and 552 so some absolutely fantastic even expansion out of this defiant munitions round and there you have it y'all a 380 copper battle between defiant munitions tcx and the barnes tac xpd again nothing really left to say about this absolute domination by this defiant munitions round as you can see here more expansion more penetration even though this one didn't expand you still got more penetration out of this defiant munitions more velocity which means more energy just more of everything you want to see from this defiant munitions all right, y'all, I'm going to call it right there for another good 380 test. Once again, two very different stories out here from this stuff. That Defiant Munitions absolute textbook performance, the Barnes, an absolute failure. I don't care what anybody wants to try to come up with on that Barnes. That's an absolute failure, period. That's the most common barrel length right there. That's through heavy clothing. That thing absolutely failed. You got zero expansion, and you still didn't even meet the FBI minimum penetration standards. Uh, there's no other. The way to call that besides an absolute failure y'all know i've tested quite a bit of this defiant munitions lately in several different calibers and it's all done fantastic it always expands well and it always gets really nice penetration you really can't ask for more out of it now a lot of people balk on the price of it is it expensive yes it's expensive but you get what you pay for it's absolutely obvious in this case so if you're looking at a choice between these barns and defiant munition really the only question you got to ask yourself is do i want Want good ammo or not i'm not saying defiant munitions is the only good ammo but i'm telling you between these two right here it is the only good choice that being said if y'all are interested in picking some of this up from defiant munitions or anything else from them i don't have an affiliate link but it's very easy to find their site and i will leave a code that'll help you out a little bit if you want to pick something up once you get there but let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the performance from both of these rounds is this something that some of y'all carry either one of them if you do what do you carry it in let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are if you did enjoy the video make sure you reach down and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you don't miss anything when i upload it if you're doing some shopping check out those affiliate links i've got in the video description anything you buy after going through any of those links down there i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really appreciate that once again i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel like y'all do i've got a few more really good tests planned for out here today so stay on the lookout for that and in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.